start to see people like Bill Gates gobble up farmland and you read what his foundation says about farming when they say that we're going to have a particular type of agriculture. They want large blocks run by the government or by private consortia where they say we're not going to have animal-based proteins, we're not going to have stockyards, we're not going to have turkey farms, we're not going to have chicken. The academic mind always has the answers but never in the real world and they do a lot of damage. Everywhere you look, small and medium-sized farms being gobbled up by these corporate mega farms because they can't keep up anymore. They can't comply with these endless streams of regulations that are coming down. We're seeing that in China now, where these giant, mechanized, corporate, big government-controlled mega farms are uh, displacing all these little small family farms that families have been farming for, for hundreds of years, in some cases longer. They're moving them all off their little plots of land and moving them into these big, horrific mega cities that they have built. And we're going to see that all over the world with the decimation of small farms. So if they're not bankrupted by economic forces, the government itself will shut them down. Everything is falling apart. There is a shortage of food. Uh, many people uh, do not have enough money to eat every day. Everybody is out here today because they understand that when our government actually expropriates our farmers, you know, we're all next. Not just Holland is now facing these types of regulations, but you can see the attack on farmers all over the world. It's an agenda that is carried out on a global level that is being pushed through government officials in prospective countries. This is uh, precisely how the globalists have managed to take over national parliaments and national governments. 20 countries equal 80% of all the emissions. You solve the problem to start with by making sure all of those 20 countries are doing what they need to do. We have to pull them to the table and leverage further. So how do we get there? Well, the lesson I've learned in the last year is money, 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 money. They're following a script where they are thinking already from the perspective of a global, bureaucratic, quasi-totalitarian system of governing, system of rule. This is an agenda, and all these countries are implementing the same policies. So they've targeted the farmers because that's the agenda. Right now, things have uh, tripled as far as cost for my own farming operation and for many farmers across the country. And I think you're going to see across the board higher food prices. Food prices are already up dramatically this year, last year a little bit too. And we might see more empty shelves in America. Even the president is promising food shortages in, in his conversation. So there's no need for this to be happening. You mm -hmm. know, the people are the ones that are going to be hurt. You know, not just farmers, you know, trying to make a living. It's going to be the food supply of this country, which is a staple of our security of our nation, yeah. being able to grow the grain and the crops that we do, that not only supplies us, but our allies and other trading partners around the world. We have 8 billion people on the planet now, and that's sustainable if they allow agriculture to continue to be mechanized and genetically altered. And I don't think they understand that if they tamper with that, you're going to have people go hungry. We are headed into, I think, a time of very significant food shortages. Uh, can we expect to see massive increases in food prices next year? Oh, no question about it. So I think the end goal of the war on farmers that we're seeing, which is guided at every step by the Sustainable Development Goals and Agenda 2030, is going to be a total consolidation of agriculture, a total consolidation of the food supply, and uh, as every communist tyrant of the last hundred years has understood if you control the food, you control the people. I think that's ultimately the end goal.